Robutrin is an antidepressant, but I don't think it's useful to classify a lot of psychotropic drugs based on the diagnosis that they treat. Because for one thing, Robutrin can be used to treat other things besides depression. And more importantly, there are certain depressions, agitated, irritable depressions that are characterized by a lot of anxiety and tearfulness, for example, that Wellbutrin would not be helpful for. And as a matter of fact, could make worse. So I think it's more important for clinicians to adopt a target symptom-based approach. We certainly have a working diagnosis. It's always important to understand the paradigm that we're applying and to have in mind for prognostic considerations what the diagnosis is and whether or not we're dealing with endogenous illness. That's to say biologic illness that's innate that ultimately comes from genetic factors versus a situational depression or psychiatric symptoms that are coming from emotional triggers, stressors in the environment, and there really isn't anything inherently wrong with the brain or the central nervous system. So we would still treat with medication in some cases if the symptoms are severe and if there are a lot of physical symptoms. But So I'm not saying diagnosis is not important because it's important to know all of those things. But when it comes to treating, we always start with the safest and the best approach for clinicians, particularly non-psychiatrists, is to focus on what are the symptoms. And if they're physical symptoms, if they're moderate or severe, then, then treating with medication is justified as long as we weigh the risks and the benefits. Prozac is also an antidepressant, but it's completely different from Wellbutrin. And although they can be prescribed together in a combination strategy, you would never substitute Wellbutrin for Prozac and vice versa if you've determined that one of those medications is appropriate and it's not working for some reason or it's not being tolerated, say the side effects. You, you prescribe Prozac and the, and the person experiences side effects that are unacceptable, then you would not switch to Wellbutrin if the target symptoms are those target symptoms that are appropriate for Prozac. And so, for example, Prozac is good for anxiety. It's, it reduces irritability. It raises the threshold for tearfulness. Well, Butrin doesn't do any of those things. Well, Butrin can make irritability worse. It can make anxiety worse. It can give you a panic attack if you're prone to that. And it has no effect on tearfulness. So, I see a lot of times I see patients that are on Prozac and they're having sexual dysfunction, so they're switched to Wellbutrin. Well, Wellbutrin can improve sexual functioning. It increases desire in most patients, and it has no adverse effect on a person's ability to climax. But you wouldn't switch from Prozac to Wellbutrin. You might add Wellbutrin to address those side effects that a person is having from Prozac, but if a person is anxious and, and crying all the time and they're irritable, well, butrin can make all that worse and you wouldn't switch to well butrin. You would switch to another serotonergic antidepressant.